Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be recreating a James Charles look. I have been wanting to do this for the longest time but I genuinely haven't had the motivation to do it but today's the day that I'm going to be doing it. If you're wondering what I'm recreating I'm going to put it up on the screen right here. I feel like this is a very simple but classy look at the same time and I feel like it will go well with my like personality aurora whatever it's called but whatever the word is so i don't really know what is going to be going on in this video i'm just going to try and do the makeup look the best way i possibly can i might change it up a little bit to like morph it me but anyway the makeup look is still gorgeous either way but if you are new to my channel, I'm Ella Donnelly and obviously this is my channel. If you are new, please make sure that you do like today's video. Also, please make sure that you do subscribe down below. But other than that, let's just get straight into the video. So today I'm going to be starting off with this MUA Makeup um, Academy thing with this Pro Slash Face Smoothing Cool Primer Stick. I would usually use the, um, what's it called? Too Faced Hangover Primer. But I feel like this one... Because it's quite a simple look. I don't need that much of a prime on it. Plus this primer was like £3. Something like that. And it's not even too bad. Like makeup looks don't have to be expensive guys. Like honestly they really don't. At all. Like people think like to have good makeup. You have to have like good products to use. And you really don't. I promise you. It's just. If you have the talent to do the makeup and the time to do the makeup, you'll have good makeup. I feel like that's what like I've learned because in high school I was my makeup was awful. Back then everyone thought it was good, but it's like now that I think about it, it's awful. <laughs> but it's just because I didn't know how to do makeup back then, and now I do. Next, I'm gonna be using the PS Perfect Color Double Coverage Matte Foundation in the shade ivory and by the way this is from Primark a lot of people don't trust Primark makeup but I will tell you this is such a good foundation it smells horrible but it is a good foundation I usually use I'll show you what I usually use I usually use this right here it's called like Artigo or whatever it's called but this is £30 this tiny little thing right here and this is £5 and they basically do the exact same thing. And I feel like the Primark one's actually somewhat better. So now that that prime is on, I just put foundation everywhere. This is not my shade, by the way. So if people are going to comment that in the comment section, I already know. This ain't my shade. Don't think I don't know because I do. So I've brought you up a bit closer to do my concealer. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shape, in the shape, in the shade of Fair and Huda Beauty in the shape, in the shape, what the hell, in the shade Whipped Cream. I'm just going to put that in a little triangle there. And then a little bit on my chin, on my cupid's bow, on my nose, and up there. And then I just go in with this because it's super light. Who the hell is playing that music? I'm gonna just blend it out with the beauty blender. I did ask for some questions on Instagram. I think I might answer some now while I'm blending this in. Let me see what people have asked. Let's have a look. By the way, my Instagram is always down below in the description, so if you want to go and follow me, feel free. Have you had any experiences with toxic friendships? Yes, for sure. I, in high school, had quite a lot of toxic friends that I didn't know were toxic at the time. But there's one specific girl who, she was quite toxic, but, like, I genuinely thought she was, like, one of my best friends. Like, I'd class her as that anyway. And then we went to college together, and she just 
wasn't nice like at all she made up this massive like rumor in college and i ended up getting kicked out of college because i did something bad but that's not the point um but she was just horrible like she always made it out like it was always like my fault in whatever situation that we was in and she said quite a lot of horrible things like about me behind my back to my face like and overall she was kind of just a horrible friend but yeah like she was a nice friend at the same time she's quite manipulative i would say but i don't have anything to do with her anymore so that's pretty all right and i feel like it's kind of sad because like i was always there for her like when she needed it and like she just was not there for me the minute my eyes stuck together like i don't know like she was very toxic but like other than that i've really not had that many toxic friends there's been a few friends that have been very deba debatable friends but i wouldn't really call them toxic i had a well i kind of had a toxic like friend that was a boy but I feel like that's a different story. So yeah, I have had experience with a toxic friend. Like, I fell out with people that have been quite toxic. But then they've kind of changed. And then I've become like friends with them again. But other than that, the friendships that I have are always pretty good. Like, my friends that I've been friends with in high school, I've been friends with them since year seven year eight so i've been friends with them for nearly 10 years next year and then i have a couple friends that like i was friends with in high school that i kind of you know fell out of friendship with when i left high school but like i'm okay with them now and like you know i've known them since i was like eight so no i wouldn't really say that i've really had like toxic toxic friends and the and even if they did class them as friends it was only like school friends they weren't like my real friends that you know that i would spend the weekend with or anything like that comment down below if you've had a toxic friendship by the way like i said i know it doesn't match but it seems to me like no foundation matches my skin tone because i feel like i'm that light it just always oxidizes for some reason it's quite annoying i'm just putting this on my eyelids because my eyelids keep on sticking together i always use this brush right here this is a unicorn cosmetics brush and i use the very first one this one right here so the lightest one I don't really, I don't really put that much contour on. It always looks so much worse in camera than it does in real life. I don't know. You'll see on this side, it always looks worse for some reason. It's kind of annoying. I went out the other night on my first girls night out. It was actually my first ever night out after turning like 18 and I'm 20. So as you can see, like it always looks so much sharp, like not sharper, what's it called? Hmm, I don't know what the word is. Sharper, is that the word? I'm not too sure. Let me see what the questions I have. Um, what are your top tips on a flawless coverage? I wouldn't say that I have flawless coverage because I don't and I don't ever try to either. I always just try to like look the best but I'm, I don't really, I'm one of them people who like touch wood, where's wood? Is this wood? 
that's not wood mm. touch wood that I've never had you know like bad acne or bad like acne scars or anything like I've got one spot here as you can see and I've like got a couple of tiny ones there but <clears throat> I've never really had to like cover anything up necessarily except from like just my skin so I kind of just go with a foundation like this this is double coverage though so if you really want coverage I'll probably more likely get this but I kind of just put makeup on and just see how it goes that is like basically how makeup works in my eyes now that this contour is on I get this and brush it around my whole entire face especially on the contour part so and then it's not as harsh When I was younger and I used to do makeup, like when I was obviously in high school, I always put powder on before I put anything else on and I don't know why, but that's just how I used to do it. And it's so strange because it was this specific powder right here, right here. And I really don't know why, I haven't used it in ages, but let's put some on my forehead. I always used to put it on before I put my foundation on. And my makeup always came out kind of necessarily okay. So, I don't really know why, but I always used to use it. Because I put so much powder on, like the contour, the actual powder, I'm going to use this setting spray just to hydrate my face. It smells beautiful. By the way, it is the Morph slash Jeffree Star, but I got this ages ago. Um, and it's in the strawberry flavour. It's beautiful. At the end of the day, it's just makeup. So I'm just going to let that dry. I'm actually going to have a look at James's picture. Just to see if he is wearing blush or not. I'm not too sure he is. Hmm. I don't think he is wearing blush but he is wearing forehead contour looks like bronzer not contour should I say so I'm editing this right now and you can hear my stepdad screaming at the TV um at the football so really really don't mind that <laughs> Will that do? I think it will have to. Hmm, I feel like there's a bit too much on this side. If you feel like there's a bit too much on a side, you can always get a beauty blender and dab it. will do next i'm going to do eyeshadow so i'm going to use this eyeshadow primer which is the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion in the shade eden it basically just looks like concealer but it's eyeshadow primer i'm literally just gonna put it everywhere on my eyelid And then I'm going to get on a two bit eyeshadow, which of course I'm going to be using the one and only James Charles palette. What I'm going to do is get his palette and go with the white shade, which is called, I don't know what it's called actually, but I'm just going to pack that on. Actually, change of a plan. I'm going to be getting this white concealer and just be dabbing that around the eye like this. And then what I'm going to do next is just slightly dab that into the shape that I want my eyeshadow to be. 
and then I'm going to do that with both eyes. I've made positions just to do this bit right here. But I just need to blend this bit in a bit more. I really don't know how James did this. But like... I just really don't know how he did it. <laughs> I'm going to get this concealer to do the little clouds. And then I'm just going to start... Them. So at this stage I was really trying to concentrate so as you can see I'm f proper focusing on how to get a good cloud. <laughs> so I forgot to time lapse it <laughs> but this is how it turned out. So I'm now going to put some more on over this. Oh why has it gone like that? <laughs> I've just got the sleek makeup. Um, highlighter. I'm going to dip it into the purple and the peach one and just put it here. I'm not going to touch the clouds. I'm just going to simply put it there. A bit on my nose. A bit up here. On my forehead a little bit. Some on my chin. And on my cupid's bow. And then I'm just going to put mascara on and then I'll come back. I'm just going to put this Fenty Beauty lip gloss on in the shade Diamond Milk. Put my hair down and then I'll come back. So this is what the finished look looks like. I'm actually really happy with it and I think it's really cute. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure that you do like today's video. Also, please make sure that you do subscribe down below. But other than that, that is the end of today's video. Bye, everyone. Until next time.